What's up guys? Oftentimes when uh, you're sitting in your car, you're getting ready to stage, put your visor down, and you go to take off, you do forget one important thing when you do that. Sometimes you forget to push the record button on your data logger. Now, unfortunately, you'll lose the run, obviously, with, you'll lose the data when that happens. So what a lot of guys like to do, including myself, um, we change the data logger to actually record off of a certain engine RPM. So that way you don't have to push any sort of button. The cool thing about the race pack data loggers is, is they allow you to change the parameters within how it records. Now we recommend either a button or off of a certain engine RPM and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do just that. So what I have here is I have a sportsman data logger that comes from the factory, just the stock one. I got our uh, programming cable, our USB to serial adapter hooked up into our laptop and a power supply just to power it on. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. It's super simple. First thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to open up the RacePack Datalink 2 software. I'm going to click File in the upper left corner and Open Car Configuration. I'm going to select my Sportsman config. I'm going to click OK. And what pops up is all of my channel parameters within my data logger. In this case, all I have is just the stock unit. If you had more additional modules, VNet modules, you'd have uh, they'd show up right here as well. Um, but all we're really concerned about is with the very first channel, which is the Sportsman channel. I'm going to right click on that and the input channel parameters are going to pop up here. And what I want to locate is the system options in the bottom left corner. <coughs> and at about halfway down, there's one that says record enable channel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and highlight it in blue. And as you see here, it says X7 D8. That's basically code for record button. So if you go, just go over to the right here, it'll say record button X78. And if we want to change that to engine RPM, we're going to go ahead and click the little drop down arrow and we're going to scroll up until we locate engine RPM X200. The X200 does not mean times 200. All it means is just code on the back end that uh, tells it what to do. It's not multiplying your engine RPM by 200. So the second step what we need to do is we need to go ahead and go back into the system options box here and we need to locate the start recording when channel exceeds value. It'll probably be zeroed out. Um, if you click it and highlight it in blue, you can change this number to whatever you want. Um, if you're a super category eraser or stock eliminator, bracket eraser, anybody that drives the car to the staging lanes, I highly recommend using something that does not get reached when you're in the staging lanes, starting and stopping your car, driving it back and forth to the staging lanes, back to the pits, etc. Because if you do that, every time you hit this value, it's going to record a session. So um, in my particular personal car, I have mine set at 6300, which is what my rev limiter is for my burnout. So that way, once I roll into the water box, do the burnout, it uh, records from the last half of the burnout on for three and a half minutes after that. So. Um, for instance, I have 6300 in here. I'm going to go ahead and you know type in whatever you want. It could be 500. It could be whatever. If you don't if you don't drive your car to the lanes, you can make it a thousand. It doesn't matter. This is all user preference and what it's up what it's up to you. So after you select whatever uh, RPM you want to use, you're just going to go ahead and click Send Configuration in the bottom right corner here, and device is programmed successfully. And you click OK, and then OK to get out of that box. And then you can go over here to the left and click Save. Or you can even click file in the upper left corner and save as well. It's the same thing. But just like that, once again, you're off to the races and not forgetting to turn your, uh, turn your data logger on. It'll automatically do it for you as long as it's powered and it sees that engine RPM number. For more information on RacePack products, be sure to log on to racepack.com or give us a call toll free at 888-429-4709.